Hey guys, take a look. So I was changing my board out, and uh, I mean, I put a new, uh, I swapped my SKR 103 board into my printer bot. Took out the SKR 101 board. But what's weird though is that the hot end is getting hot as soon as I plug in the power. And I'm trying to figure out why. Let me show you this right here. So I didn't plug the heat hot end, and I'm getting voltage as soon as I turn the thing on. So right now, there's no printing going on. So I'm getting 12 volts. Sorry. I'm getting 12 volts right as soon as I plug in the power. And I don't know if this LED has anything to do with it right there, that, that green LED, but. What the hell do I I mean, it's, this thing is not controlled by relays. It uses MOSFETs to control the hot end. So, what the hell? Do I have a stuck MOSFET or something? Or bad MOSFET? Alright, so there's a small row of three MOSFETs right there. And I'm going to do a quick continuity test here. So I'm going to put my uh, auto meter in continuity mode. And I'm going to test the source and the drain. These two center pins. So the, the pin on the left, that's the actual gate. That's actually what activates the MOSFET. And this is the source and the drain. So I shouldn't be any, I shouldn't be getting continuity. I shouldn't be getting continuity through those two leads unless there's power being applied to the gate. So I am, so I'm testing the, the exact same MOSFET right next to it doing the exact same thing. And I'm not getting any sort of uh, continuity. And that's how it's supposed to be. See, I'm not, that's the, that's the heater zero right there. I'm getting continuity there, so that's a bad MOSFET. All right, so now you see my multimeter there. All right, so I'm gonna put my negative lead on the negative input on the machine, and I'm gonna put my positive probe on the gate. And I should be getting almost like, pretty much zero volts there. All right, so this thing is not being commanded to be open. So let me go back to my printer. I'm gonna turn the heat on. I'm gonna actually go there and I tell the system to heat up the hot end. And I should be getting, I should get voltage at the gate, and that's going to tell the MOSFET to turn on. Okay, so now I have the oh, system. Sure. Uh, I told the Marlin to basically heat up the hot end, and we'll check the gate again. And now we're getting voltage. So that actually, so basically, I know that actually Marlin's working and sending the right commands because now I'm getting voltage. I'm telling the hot end to heat up, and now I'm getting voltage to activate the MOSFET to send power to the hot or the hot end. So. Alright, All right, so I have a couple options now what I can do with this thing. Um, I can replace this MOSFET right there. Or I can just get a new board. Or I can take the MOSFET from one, desolder it, and move it down to heater zero. I'm not sure if I said I could buy there a MOSFET like online somewhere. Like I said, the, but the boards were super, super cheap, so I'm not sure how much the MOSFET would be. I do actually have an X extra XKR 1.1 board. That I'm probably not going to use anymore. I can take a MOSFET up there, the same MOSFET. Uh, or I can just not deal with it and just go into the pins configuration and make this, this, uh, make e, E1, extruder 1, uh, make that the actual primary zero. So by switching the pins out in the Marlin config. Alright, so I'm in my uh, Marlin 2.0 config, and I think I'm just going to try uh, swapping those out. So. In my pins.skr up here on the top, I'm going to basically swap these out right here. I'm going to swap 7 and 4. And that's All right, it. so by uh, swapping those pins out in Marlin, I actually essentially made heater 1 here. I made this heater 0 in Marlin. So when I activate E0 or heater 0, it's going to actually output on heater 1. So I'm actually still using the uh, thermistor on E0. So let's uh, do a quick voltage test. I have nothing at the gate. Okay, no, no voltage at the gate. That's good. What about the other one? I shouldn't have voltage there either because the gate shouldn't be applied. But you can see the LED is still being on. That LED, there's another LED for the heater of 0. So let me go back and uh, turn the heater on and uh, we'll check the voltage again. All right, so I have the hot end heating up right now. I activated it in Marlin. And uh, heater output one is now defined as heater zero in Marlin. So let's check the voltages here. So let's make sure we're getting 12 volt out. 
So we're getting the twelve volt out to the hot end. And let's see if they actually what we're doing on, on the gate on the MOSFET. Should be going on and off. See right there? It's heating on and off. It's telling the heater to go on and off. See how it's flashing like that? Every time you see the voltage like that, it's telling the basic the MOSFET, MOSFET to activate and deactivate. So that means that my, my hot end's already up to temperature. So Alright, so if you're not familiar with a MOSFET, a MOSFET is just like a like a car relay. It's just an electrically controlled switch. So Alright guys, hopefully this helps somebody. Um, Alright, hopefully I'm back in business. We'll see. Alright, cool, I got a lot of printing to do. Come on, finally.